This week on Just Guitar Talk, we are checking out the fabulous Nux Atlantic Reverb and Delay pedals. Stick around. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. How's it going? Uh, welcome back. This week we're taking a look at a awesome, a, a deal, a killer deal. That's all I'm going to say. Well, it's not all I'm going to say. I'm going to say a lot more. Uh, but basically, this is, it, it's, it's a steal. This is the Nux Atlantic, Nux New X, what are they called? I'm not sure. Nux Atlantic Reverb and Delay Pedal. So I was in the market. My Boss DD3 just keeps dying and coming back to life. I just, you know, I should get another one, but I just, I don't know. Uh, I, I always want to try different new stuff. And then I keep going back to my, uh, to my amp reverb and my Boss DD3 delay because it's a perfect delay pedal, I'm gonna say it. But I wanted to check this out here. The Nux Atlantic Reverb and Delay Pedal. I like Reverb and Delay Pedals. Some notable ones that I've tried are the Delverb Universal Audio. I like that a lot. I've also tried out, a good buddy of mine has a Keeley Caverns. That's fantastic too. This was a really good price. I got from Zounds, Z Zounds, what are they? Uh, anyways, a little over a hundred bucks, brand new. It's small. It's not much bigger than a regular pedal. Uh, you can run it in mono or stereo. It's got series and parallel delay and reverb. So you can run them right next to each other or one into the other. It's got a nice cool thing where you hold down the reverb button for a nice shimmer effect. And it's got tap tempo, which is really cool. And as you see here, it's got a button for all the subdivisions. We also have the level for the delay and the repeats. And then for the reverb, we have the level and decay. We have spring reverb, we have plate reverb, and hall reverb. And then we have on the delay side, 60s, 70s, 80s. So these are all different types of delay. 60s, tape echo, 70s, analog, bucket brigade thing, 80s, digital delay. And what's cool about this, and you'll hear this too, you can really hear the differences. The, the 60s is very tape echo, a little slower, and uh, you know, it speeds up and slows down. And the 70s is kind of a, a dark but rich tone, nice clean repeats. And 80s is, is uh, even clearer and brighter and nice crisp repeats. And definitely you can hear the difference in the delay sounds, which I think is very cool. And it can do some really, really cool stuff. Uh, so that's enough of my Gavin. Let's check it out. Alrighty, so we got my Paul Reed Smith SE Silver Sky, Nylon Blue, Maple, going into the pedal board, into the Black Star HT20, mic'd up, going into the sound card. We're gonna check out all the different reverbs here and then we're gonna move right through the ages from the 60s to the 70s and to the 80s. All right, so here is what it sounds like, nice and dry. Okay, let's kick on that reverb. And we're in spring.
see how drippy we can get. Cool. All right, that's the spring, now to the plate. Very cool shimmer effect there. <laughs> Lastly, Hall. Halfway up, it's still pretty subtle. It's kind of trippy. I think so far the hall wins for the shimmer effect. Now for the rest of the demo, well, I'll turn the reverb off for right now. And let's move on over to the delay. We're gonna start off in the 60s with kind of a tape delay. A little slow.
I like how you can hear it slowing down, speeding up a little bit. So now, let's put it to use. Throw on some spring reverb, and let's throw on some fuzz, and we'll get a little floydy. Fun. All right, moving into the 70s. This is an analog delay. Let's hear how it sounds. Now we're kind of in slap back territory. It's a nice repeat. It's, it's a little bit on the darker side, but it's full, it's rich, and it doesn't have the warbliness of the 60s tape delay. So. I like it.
Alrighty. Now my favorite decade, the 80s. And this is like a digital delay. I like nice, simple, soft repeats. Throw some gain on there. I gotta say, I'm quite impressed. You know, this thing's just a little over a hundred dollars and it does pretty much everything that you want. I mean, it's, it's, it's a simple delay and reverb. So if you're looking for anything crazy to get you all this weird, nutsy ambience, you know, then stick with your Strymons and your Line 6s and all that stuff. But if you just need something dead simple in one unit, then this is really gonna do you. It's got a lot of features and it's got some great functionality here. And what I like about it the most is that it's super transparent. Really, it sounds so nice through my amplifier, and I have this going in front of the amp too. I have an effects loop on my Blackstar, and I put it in the effects loop, and I was like, you know, I kind of like it in front of the amp better. It just sounded nice and clear and transparent and clean. Nice repeats. There's definitely a lot, you can hear the differences in the delay. You know, sometimes there's different delays where, you know, you switch and you don't really hear the differences that much, but I noticeably hear the difference. And I think you just, you get a lot for what you pay for, for this device here. Nux, UX, making incredible products for the price. And, you know, the, the spring reverb, which is what I use it for mostly, it's not the drippiest of reverbs, you know, so if you're in a surf band, you might want to go something with something a little bit more drippy. Uh, but this this is a nice spring reverb and it's got nice haul and play too. The shimmer effect is pretty cool. I don't think I'd use it that much, but it's a nice feature. Uh, the tap tempo delay is pretty cool too. If you're a person who uses tap, I just didn't kind of a set it and forget it delay person myself. So really, if you just want nice, clean, easy to use reverb and delay, just stick on your pedal board, not a lot of money, this is the perfect thing for you. 
Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for coming back again and watching this. Uh, if you like what we do here on the channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, you know, and hit the bell for notifications. Uh, if you felt like donating to the channel, go ahead and click on that link inside the description, the tip jar link. We really appreciate any and all donations. Thank you so much again for watching. Go get yourself one of these Nux pedals. It's really worth it. I'll play you out here with some gain and delay and reverb. Have a good one.